Have you ever stumbled upon an old toy or perhaps a photograph from your childhood buried away in some forgotten corner of your home? Now, imagine unearthing not just a single relic, but an entire army of life-sized statues hidden away for millennia. Welcome to the enigmatic world of the Terracotta Army, China's silent stone sentinels who've stood guard, unflinching, over an emperor's final resting place for over 2,000 years. In the spring of 1974, Yang Jifa, a local farmer, and his brothers were digging a well near Xi'an in China's Jiangxi province. Little did they know that their simple quest for water would lead to one of the most monumental archaeological discoveries of the 20th century. Instead of the expected rush of water, their shovels hit something hard. As they dug further, they unveiled the head of a life-sized terracotta warrior. The site soon captured global attention, and experts descended upon the location, revealing thousands of these statues, each distinct in its features and attire. The genius and ambition behind this massive undertaking belonged to China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang, a ruler who unified the various warring states into a singular Chinese empire in 221 BCE. His reign was characterized by monumental projects like the early Great Wall and a national highway system. Yet, the Terracotta Army remains his most enigmatic legacy. The sheer scale of the project was staggering. An estimated 700,000 workers toiled for almost four decades, crafting each warrior with meticulous detail, from their shoes to their hairstyles, from the expressions on their faces to the weaponry they held. And all of this hidden underground unseen by anyone until that fateful day in 1974. Before the Terracotta Army, before the legacy as China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang's life was marked by ambition, innovation, and a determination to transform a fragmented land into a unified nation. Born as Ying Zhang in 259 BCE, he was thrust into the turbulent world of the Warring States period, an era characterized by seven fragmented kingdoms constantly battling for dominance. At the tender age of 13, Ying Zhang ascended the throne of the Qin state after the death of his father. But it wasn't until he turned 38 that he truly changed the course of history. Through a combination of brilliant military strategy, diplomacy, and sheer determination, he managed to conquer all the rival states, effectively ending the Warring States period and establishing the Qin dynasty. With this, Ying Zhang proclaimed himself as Qin Shi Huang, or First Emperor of Qin. But his ambitions didn't stop with mere territorial conquests. Qin Shi Huang was a visionary. He undertook vast infrastructural projects, laying down a network of roads to enhance connectivity and trade. Moreover, he standardized weights, measures, currency, and even the writing system, creating a cohesive sense of identity among the once divided Chinese people. Yet, his rule was not without controversies. He was known for his authoritarian streak, evident in his ban on Confucianism in the infamous episode of Burning of Books and Burying of Scholars. These acts were part of his larger goal to centralize authority and prevent dissent, but they also led to widespread criticism and eventual rebellion. However, his obsession with immortality and the afterlife was perhaps the most defining aspect of his reign. Despite the vast empire he had built, the thought of death and what lay beyond haunted him. This quest for external life was evident in his multiple expeditions in search of the elixir of immortality and, of course, the creation of the Terracotta Army to accompany him in the afterlife. But why would an emperor commission such an enormous and intricate project? The answer lies in Qin Shi Huang's beliefs about the afterlife. The emperor, obsessed with immortality, sought to ensure that his rule continued even in the next world. The Terracotta Army was conceived to serve and protect him in the afterlife, much like his real soldiers did in the living world. Each warrior, each horse, and even the chariots were designed to mirror the Emperor's actual army, ready to spring into action at their leader's command. Beyond protection, these statues also represented a show of strength. By recreating his military might in terracotta, Qin Shi Huang was sending a clear message to gods, spirits, and potential adversaries in the afterlife. His power and dominance were eternal. The details of the statues further reinforced the emperor's beliefs. The soldiers were positioned according to rank and unit, with generals, infantrymen, archers, and cavalrymen, each in their designated place. Their weapons, made of actual metal, were designed to be functional and were incredibly well-preserved due to protective chrome plating. 
a technique thought to be rediscovered only in the 20th century. The Terracotta Army is a magnificent spectacle, but it's more than just an assortment of intricately carved statues. It provides a remarkable window into ancient Chinese society, culture, and technological advancement. Artistry and Craftsmanship Each statue in the Terracotta Army is unique. From individual facial features to distinct hairstyles and clothing, these differences speak to the exceptional skill of ancient Chinese artisans. Such intricate detailing not only highlights the importance of individual soldiers in the grand scheme of the emperor's army, but also showcases the refined craftsmanship and the value placed on artistry in that era. Technological Prowess The real metal weapons, some of which remain sharp even today, reflect the advanced metallurgical knowledge of the time. Furthermore, the protective chrome plating used on these weapons was a technique believed to have been rediscovered only in the 20th century. This offers undeniable proof of ancient China's technological and scientific achievements. Military Organization The arrangement of the statues according to rank and role gives us insight into the military hierarchy and strategy of the Qin Dynasty. The presence of various units, infantry, cavalry, chariots, and archers, reveals a well-organized, multifaceted army capable of both defense and attack. Religious and Cultural Beliefs Qin Shi Huang's decision to be buried with a clay army signifies the strong beliefs in the afterlife that permeated ancient Chinese thought. It highlights the emperor's desire to maintain his power and influence beyond death, reinforcing the deep-rooted cultural emphasis on honor, legacy, and continuity. 5 Fascinating Facts About the Terracotta Army No two faces alike Despite there being thousands of statues, each terracotta soldier has a unique face, suggesting they might have been modeled after real soldiers in the Emperor's army. Colorful Warriors To date, the statues appear in an earthy, terracotta hue, but originally, they were painted in vibrant colors. Over time, exposure to air caused the paint to flake off, leaving them in their current state. Hidden Traps the mausoleum housing the terracotta army was said to contain deadly traps to deter robbers and protect the emperor's tomb. Legends speak of automated crossbows and pitfalls waiting for unsuspecting intruders. Incomplete Excavation While thousands of statues have been uncovered, a significant portion of the mausoleum, including Qin Shi Huang's burial chamber, remains unexcavated. Scholars and archaeologists are waiting for advancements in technology to ensure the site's preservation during future digs. A Multifaceted Army Beyond the soldiers, the excavation site also revealed terracotta musicians, acrobats, and officials, suggesting the emperor wanted not just protection, but also entertainment and governance in the afterlife. The terracotta army stands as an enduring testament to an emperor's ambition and a civilization's grandeur. As we continue to unearth its secrets, it remains a beacon, guiding us into the depths of China's rich past. The allure of the Terracotta Army is timeless. Buried for millennia, these silent guardians continue to captivate us with their grandeur, their mystery, and the stories they whisper of a bygone era. As they stand, frozen in battle formation, they are a powerful reminder of humanity's quest for immortality, of the legacies we hope to leave behind and the tales we wish to be told centuries after our time. If you've been intrigued by this dive into China's ancient world and want to embark on more such journeys of discovery, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And hey, if you've got any thoughts or facts to add about the Terracotta Army, drop them in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going. Remember, every like, comment, and share helps us bring more of these fascinating tales to you. Until the next adventure.